to it, high net worth and ultra high net worth investors, what they really want is control. And what we, what you have with a, an international insurance bond, offshore bond, whatever you want to call it, is control over the who the investment manager, control over the custodian, control over your advisor, control over where and when you want to take an exit, control over uh, assignment of the policies, for instance. It's, it's all in your hands. So it's, it's that it's that control, and and all within a structure, a heavily regulated and you know, financially strong, stable structure. And then with the additional benefit that you know. Yeah, really simple administration and, and reporting, but it's that it's that one word, it's that control within that that gross roll-up environment. We, we have a very you know, financially strong business that does give us the funds to invest in in improving service standards, improving uh, IT operations, uh, etc. But you've got if you it's all right having the cash and the money to invest, but but you need to have the commitment. So it's the commitment to do that, and I think Paul and Ian have proven, and the other shareholders have proven over the past sort of ten years, they've got the commitment to invest in the business to actually to, to build it going forward and to be a, a standard bearer for the the whole industry. To be quite honest. Oh, no, absolutely. I mean, the, the, the Quilters deal, again, was probably the most complex deal to date. I, mean, I think Paul and Ian have done 14 different acquisitions. Uh, so Quilters was uh, you know, reasonably complex with the, oh, the, the, the global footprint of you know, operations in, uh, in Asia, uh, etc. And the, uh, um, but we have a very defined process for integration as to you know, who's doing what, you know, what, what, where and when. And importantly, we have after the acquisitions complete and, and through that sort of post acquisition period, we, we have sort of constant lesson learned sort of uh, sessions. So, you know, what went well, what should we do differently? And we can then use those lessons to, to help improve the, uh, the acquisition process for the next deal. No doubt, you know, it will still be lessons learned after the, the Lombard acquisition that will improve the next one. But it's a, it's a constant sort of iterative sort of process of acquisition and learning and then improving it for the, uh, for the next one that comes along. Mm -hmm.